things take you see. The church normally puts a seed under the offering we take to bless them. So this coming from the presbytery on your behalf is a seed. You know when you are going to buy things sometimes and they are measuring for you, some of them put something under to cheat. This one is not under to cheat. It's under to bless. Okay? Yes. And we can't pay you, but we know God will bless you. So God bless you and God keep you. The only confusion I have this morning is the envelope is white. And so for mommy is wearing white. So today, I'll give it to some mommy. Yes. Yes. Do it better. Do it better unto the Lord. Last week, I think so, somewhere around there, the, there was a program in South Africa, specifically Pretoria, and an award was given. And I'm announcing it because though the award was given to a person, we are all part of the award. Praise God. Praise God. The award... It is the Pan-African Missionary Association Award. It's, it's, it's a Christian organization in, in Africa with some links to some other organizations outside of Africa. The main aim is, is to promote Christianity in Africa. So this award was given to Osof Mami, Josephine Amina, On the 16th of April in Pretoria, South Africa, it's an award in honor of the fact that she's a generational changer. I see, generational changer. And I said it's for all of us because it comes out of her work as the lead person for Lesedi Foundation. And I like this one. It looks strong. But I'm told this one is higher than this one. This one makes you an ambassador of PAMA. So she got two awards. This makes her an ambassador of, of PAMA. Okay. Maybe they say I should go and put it on her. Which means I'm giving the award again. Yeah. with our Dickness Faustina Entry, who is one of the executive members of Lesedi. So. <laughs> Hallelujah. Last week, we, we are still, I hope you are still reading the Bible today. I didn't do the quiz because of my time. My time is really squeezed out and I have to finish early, but if God gives us life, next week we will have presents, okay? But today we are giving the, the present for those, the finals of the finals. But we still continue reading our Bible and we are giving our weekly, weekly awards. We, we had six people qualifying for, for the finals. Please let me get the awards here. They're in the room. I didn't mean to help bring the awards. So. They've done so well. So let's put our hands together for all six of them. Thank you. 
let me get Pastor. Yeah, what's up over? Pastor Cody and Sofmami Josephine, please come help present the awards. And our service director also come because the things have some some weight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When they went to South Africa, they visited Pastor Pastor uh, King Tola and family. They sent their greetings. They attended their service. They are doing so well, so well. So the next time you are traveling to South Africa, you can get the address and visit that church. They told me they ate some food. It was so nice. So nice. But they ate alone. The sixth person, the sixth person for the quiz got 43 marks out of 100. Let's put our hands together for our brother, Thomas K. Anand. Thomas K. Anand. you. God bless you so much. God bless you so much. Okay, so you can take your seat now. The fifth person with 49 marks, Deacon Edilamte. Sure, 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 sure. You were brave. God bless you so much. God bless you so much. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you so much. Amen. The fourth person is our brother Alfred Sawyer. 62 marks. 62 marks. God bless you so much. God bless you. God bless you. The third person with 68 marks, a brother Andrew Spoby. Present this as well. No, wait. The second person, I really want you to clap very well. The second person, he got seventy nine. Our brother Senanu Kotoka.
surprise of the year with 84 marks, Pobi Nakai Grace. In her month of April, she took it. The surprise. The surprise. So she's going to the UK. She's going to be part of the centenary celebration in the UK. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. Okay. I was shocked. There was a particular question I wasn't expecting anyone to get it. But the first and second, they got it. It's wonderful. <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> Hallelujah. So the Bible reading and study continues. You don't know what the next price is going to be. If I were you. If I were you. Hallelujah. The men. We are taking our wives out. 6th to 8th of May. And 8th May is Mother's Day. So that is our wonderful gift to our wives in the house. Do we have men in the house? Yes. And it's less than two weeks from now we are setting off. So please, if you haven't paid yet, you have only up to Friday to finish your payment. Only up to Friday. Friday we just draw the red line. And please make sure you are part of it. Because Friday when I check your list and your name is not there between me and you. Make sure your name is going to be a surprise, a surprise package for our wives. We are leaving here at 9 in the morning on Friday. So please, wives, ask for permission from your workplaces. We take off Sith Friday at 9 so that we can get there early. Stay there the whole of Friday, the whole of Saturday. And Sunday dawn, we move straight to church with spiritual and our anointing into the service. Straight. Let me just talk about my Eden River. Um, where we are now, we have pledged up to 862,643 Ghana cities. Um, 572 people have pledged. We have redeemed 447,408.69 Ghana cities. Please, what I want to say now is that this week, this very week, we must go and pay, we must make the second payment, okay, for the land. The land payment is in, let me say, three parts. We must make the second payment this week, just because a certain paper that they must bring, which was delaying, they brought it. So we have to go and pay. 
we have to go and pay this week. So please, those of us who have pledged, let's pay something this week. Those of us who have not pledged, let us pledge and still pay something this week. We need the money and we need it big time. We are still working on everything that's going on with the children church in the spirit. God has built it already. God has built it already because we know that it's a burden on God's heart and he will do it. And I believe even as we give, so will God also do what bless us. Surprise God in this offering and let God also surprise you. God bless us all. Amen. You can do it better unto the Lord. Hallelujah. And now let's say some words of blessing upon the life of the servant of God. God bless you so much. Hallelujah. We'll be taking our offering. And then the gifts for Pastor Isaac Nemo and family. If you are joining us for the very first time, the secular bowls are for our Sunday offerings. And then we have some rectangular bo uh, boxes here for my Eden River offering. Upright, can we have the baskets, please, for the love gift for Pastor Nemo and family? Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. We learned about faith. And we want to exercise it this morning. So whatever seed you are bringing unto God, you want to apply the heart of faith. That whatever you are bringing to God, God is going to do something wonderful in your life. Hallelujah. Let's please humble yourself. Lord, we praise 
singles in this house. No, your time is near. Hallelujah. I have this information for all singles here and even those who couldn't make it to service today. That come Thursday, 28th, April 2016, right here in this church at the upper room, there is going to be a seminar on the topic, the church's requirements and procedures concerning marriage. You are here, you don't know what it is that the church requires you to do, the procedures you need to go through before you get into marriage. Pastor and Mrs. Cody will be with us all at the upper room on the 28th of April. The time is 6.30 p.m. So no single should miss this program. Hallelujah. Our brethren at Committee One, Rima Assembly, they have this music ministry called the Rima Music Ministry. They are presenting this program that made to worship, made to worship on the 1st of May at the Rima Auditorium Committee One. The time is 1, 12 p.m. 12 p.m. They are inviting all of us to the auditorium on the 1st of May to gather, to give worship unto the Most High. Shall we please rise whilst we bring our service to a close? Let's humbly invite our elder knee boy to take us through the closing session. Hallelujah. Just after closing, we'd like to meet all the men here. So if you are a man here, just make your way here when immediately after we close. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Somebody shout, thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. Hallelujah. Amen. In the kingdom economy, gold is worked upon. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm talking about this week, but I want you to understand that in the kingdom economy, Jesus taught his disciples, when you are praying, say, Thy kingdom come. And as it is in heaven, 
let it be on earth. And I'm saying now that in the kingdom economy, gold is worked upon. Hey, hallelujah. This week, this week, this week, this week, may the kingdom economy be your portion. Oh, I'm saying, may the kingdom economy be your portion. Hallelujah. Somebody raise your right hand. You are declaring. Let thy kingdom come. This week, daddy, let your kingdom come. Mm. Let your kingdom come. Let your kingdom come this week. This week, let your kingdom come. Mm. Your kingdom come. In our lives, in our marriages, mm, in our endeavors, let your kingdom come. As we step out, let your kingdom come. As we come in, let your kingdom come. Kozi Kabataya. Hey, we are operating under the kingdom of God. Let your kingdom come this week. In the name of Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You may please open your eyes now. We want to declare our motto. And it is a declaration. You are not just saying it, but you are declaring it into your week. As we close, the, if today is the first time you are coming here, I want you immediately after closing, just come to me. Just come to me. Just, just let's, let's declare it. And we know that all things work together for good. To them that love God. To them who are called according to his purpose. You are blessed. May the grace of the almighty God be your portion this week. You are blessed. You are blessed. You are blessed. All the men. Two o'clock, we are continuing our prayer. Two o'clock, we are continuing our prayer. All the men, briefly. All the men, just, just come here. Please, all the men. The Aprites, make sure all the men are coming this way. They don't go out. Please. The ushers, make sure all the men are coming towards me. All the first timers. All the first timers. All the men, we are wait, still waiting for them to come. All the men, you, you may please come forward a bit so that we don't shout so loudly. <laughs> 